wonder what's playing today. You know they're right because watch them squeeze. Don't squeeze the Charmin, but do squeeze the mango because if they squeeze, then they're ripe and ready. I'm going to have about seven of those. And in the meantime, my son is on spring break. And does he really have access to all his nachos at high school? No, he doesn't. So he will be forced to enjoy what I serve him. <laughs> Here's what he's having. First of all, he likes my um my mock mashed potatoes pretty good. Unless I make it, people don't like the spice. I know, so not too spicy. So um, I made that for him. And look, I even put it in this very cute. Let me show you what he's having. That's cute. I don't care who you are. Look at it. It's like a little little twice baked potato. Banana boat. Look at it. Look. Hey. And if you were eating by yourself, you could just—you wouldn't even like get a fork. You just take your tongue and like <laughs> scoop it along through there. And then I have the creamy tomato soup. Here's how I did it. I showed y'all this once before, but I, I just don't think people realize how stick and easy it is. So, you take your Vitamix. You throw in one crumbled up head of cauliflower. It was about a medium head that I had that time. Um, you throw in one avocado. I like the California avocados. They're less fat. Of course, you're not going to eat the, the whole body mix full of this. You're having other stuff too, so that will, will be a good amount of fat if you eat even like half of the body mix full today. You're going to have um, two tablespoons of dehydrated onions two of your small little red peppers or two of the orange peppers, the small ones, three to four tablespoons of lemon juice. You know, people are talking about salty a lot of times and lemon juice, for some reason the lemon juice kind of cuts the salt craving. It really is great. Um, even if you're doing like a zucchini pasta or something, lemon juice on there, it really, it gives it kind of a salty component for some reason. So anyway, that's all that goes in there. And then you blend it up. Mash, blend, mash, blend, mash, blend. And then it's done. Okay. So then I took that out. And I, I scooped out the inside of my zucchini. Really just the main like seedy part. See that? So it could be all cute. just thought it was cute really. And, um, and then I could say, do they serve you that at school? And he'll say, heck no. Okay. So here's what I did. The inside of that zucchini. After I scooped all of my cauliflower mash slash mock um, mashed potatoes out of the Vitamix, there was a little bit in there. There was like maybe an inch and a half down in the bottom. It's like from the blade down that you have to scoop it out. Well, I didn't scoop that out, and I didn't really clean out the sides either. I just left that in there. So I took that, one giant fat boy tomato, and the inside of that zucchini. I blended that up, and... I made that soup with it. It's really good. It's that easy. I don't know. And he'll eat that. So, you know, there are some things. He's not He's not um, going to be forced or, frankly, motivated to, to eat the stuff I eat unless he wants to. And he did have um, a banana smoothie earlier. It had banana. And it had... Um, a scoop of natural almond butter in there and he, he drinks that pretty good I mean you know and, and I can I can pay him cash money to down some green drinks you know and sometimes he wants something so I, I pretty much take advantage of that I know there's something probably wrong with that <laughs> I didn't even know he was listening anyway maybe we'll come maybe we'll just have a video thon like a freakathon you know over the spring break let's dance Oh, dance. Let's try getting the dance.
to dance for. Y'all have a good day.